early experiments in the Royal Society time, 17th, 18th century, had oftentimes were very performative and had very immediately accessible features to them. So we could very quickly arrive at this decision that while the beauty of the experiment was just the setup we get to see, right? And we can we can understand why we would think like that since sometimes we would observe these really special phenomena, beautiful things we'll observe under the experimental setup or even the instruments that were used, especially back in the day when there was so much craftsmanship involved in making a microscope or the air pump. So we could think that there are all these features that are contributing, the performative aspect as well of the experiment, that are contributing to the aesthetic value of the experiment. But I said that I don't think those are essential features. What actually matters is that concept of the relationship between the design and the result how the experiment achieved its purpose and the elegance behind the setup. And it also kind of really encompasses and embodies the ingenuity of the experiment. So we have, for instance, the experiment that was designed by Michelson and Rowley to test the relative velocity of the Earth with respect to the ether. Einstein said about this experiment that it was absolutely beautiful uh, because of the way it was designed and that Michelson deserved the title of the artist in the science. Um, you know, that there's this kind of uh, appreciation for the design and how that design optimally delivers the result. I think that interrelationship between the two is where the aesthetic value really comes from and that can be illustrated with really insightful experiments that kind of we might wonder if there's anything visually pleasing about them, but there was an elegant idea, really well optimally designed setup using, you know, the best materials for the job to deliver important results. And some examples in science can illustrate this, like the Messerson Stau experiment in biology carries this name of the most beautiful experiment in, in biology. And we can see why that is the case. That, that experiment was so well designed for purpose. It delivered incredibly important results. It had very significant and clear results. Decisively decided between three hypotheses that were entertained at the time um, after the question was basically posited as to how DNA replicates. And that experiment was really well designed for purpose using innovative materials for the time um, illustrating the creativity, ingenuity of the experimenters to deliver that goal. So when we think about what was beautiful about it, it was the design and the significance, that relationship between the two, that I think we should really be focusing on when we think about the aesthetic value of it rather than anything else.